Good morning, loyal subjects. It's King Bruce here. You're wondering why I have a crown on today. It's not because it's a birthday, our usual birthday crowns. It's because today's book is about a king. Actually, he was the grump king. We all know what a grump is when you're not feeling good. And you're whiny and you just want everybody to leave you alone. Well, he was grumpy all the time. So we'll find out about him. But first, eyes watching, ears listening, voices quiet, body calm. Let me get some glasses on so that I can... Oh, hello, children. I can see you now. The Grump King. A long time ago, in a kingdom of old, look at that castle, there lived a grumpy old king, or I've been told. He yelled at the cooks. He yelled at the maids. He yelled at the captain, who were most afraid. Oh no, what's he gonna do to us? No one ever dared greet him for fear of reproof. That means he would yell. When the old king came around, they stood off to the side, aloof. No one wanted to talk to him because they were scared. His beard was all grizzled rust-colored and gray. His gaze was so mean. Look, even the birds flew away when they saw him. And birds like almost everybody. He sat down on his throne almost all of the time. When he needed something, he would just pick up his bell and give it a chime. Ding dong, ding dong. Well, one fateful day, a new stranger moved in. A bright, happy gal with a glimmering glint. A glimmering grin. Look at that smile. She looks like Brooke Shields. She seemed not to notice the whispers she'd heard of the grumpy old king who would scare off the birds. She wasn't going to listen to those rumors. The neighbor said, The king, he is evil. The king, he is mad. The king, he's a lump. He is just bad, 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 bad. He takes what he wants. He gives much too little. He cares less for us than his crusty old fiddle. And so they did speak. But she wondered aloud, could the king be so bad? Like an angry storm cloud? That's what he looks like. She wanted to know if these folks spoke the truth. She approached the king's throne and thought, is this the proof when she looked at him? The picture they painted of him was quite true from the top of his head right down to his little shoes. He looked grumpy, didn't he? He sure looked the part of a grumpy old king, but I have a feeling he may not be so mean. Hello, dearest king, she said with a bow. She curtsied and smiled the best that she knew how. Well, the king, he just sat there and ignored her. He cared not one bit. He stared straight ahead. He, right there, he just sat and he'd sit and he'd sit, not a word. She studied his face and thought crossed her mind. I think this king is really quite kind. I think he's a sad and he needs some aid. And she whistled and shouted and she called for the maid. Oh, maid, would you come help us, please? What was the item she thought of? Oh, where could it be? When it was produced, the whole court would now see. What is she going to do with a trumpet? The maid brought a trumpet. It was placed by his ear, and the girl spoke into it, and she hoped the old grump would hear. Well, at first, he seemed frightened. Then his eyes opened wide. A smile spread across his face and he started to cry. At last, he said, at last I hear something. Who has done this for me? I wish I could thank you. Oh, I just wish I could see. 
Then the girl learned about his toil and sad plight, about the day that he lost his hearing and his sight. She learned of his sadness and the way he withdrew from the people he loved and had long served so true. He wasn't grumpy. He had gone deaf and blind and couldn't hear anybody or see anybody. Well, the now grown so old, that's not one who remembers the way that I was before my life turned to embers. No one in town remembers when he was nice. That's how old he is. Please don't despair, my good king, she did say, through the bright golden horn that she would not put away. She was always going to speak to him through it. Let me trim up your beard so you'll look the part of the nice king you are, like a fine work of art. Let us show all the people how much you still care, that your grumpy demeanor, it was all just an error. You weren't really mean. You just couldn't hear anybody. So the king and this girl, who had helped him so kindly, went to speak with the town that had judged him so blindly. The king then explained all the troubles he'd had. People decided, hey, this king is not so bad. The young girl's kind heart had proved her correct. Now the townspeople loved the grump and they showed him respect. They all were friends again. The end. Well, that was a good one. Sometimes we find out that someone we think is mean or angry or just weird is somebody who has a problem that we don't know about. Maybe they're worried. Maybe they can't hear us. you're too good. Maybe they're, they're uh, shy around people. But if you look into it, everybody has something good inside them like they found in this king. So here's my question for today. If you got to talk to the king for the first time through the trumpet so he could hear for the first time in years, what would you tell him? What was the first thing you'd say to him? Think it over. Give it some thought. I'll be back tomorrow. So be good to your parents and wash your hands. That's a royal decree. Bye-bye.